The city of Denver has had enough of a Lodo nightclub and apparently so have the neighbors. Beta has become a hotbed for trouble and police say they're frequently breaking up fights. In May, they investigated a shooting near the entrance. According to our partners at the Denver Post, more crimes are reported at Beta than in any other bar in that neighborhood. Denver 7 CB Cotton joins us live from Blake Street. CB, people who work nearby tell you this place is a problem. Jacqueline and Shannon, they do, and many of them, to be honest with you, are very afraid to talk about it. Beta Nightclub, they open for this week tomorrow at 9, and employees here on Blake Street say every time those doors are open, there's chaos. But the owner of the nightclub says any ruckus is not related to his business. During the daytime, it's mostly quiet on Blake Street. But come nighttime, the patios and sidewalks fill with people, and that's when the problems begin. It's very hectic at the end of the night. There's a lot of police presence, um, and it is kind of scary to see that happening because you never know what can happen. This employee of a Blake Street business agreed to speak with us on the condition we not share his name or show his face. He says he and others are scared of what might happen if they speak out about Beta Nightclub. It does seem like on a regular basis, especially weekly basis, um, on the weekends, Fridays, Saturdays, that there is a lot of commotion at the end of the night coming out of there. Um, and it just, it's something very concerning to a lot of us down here. The nightclub, apparently a concern for the city too. The owner has been ordered to appear at an October 18th hearing to prove why the club's liquor and cabaret license shouldn't be revoked. My friends and family are concerned about me and my friends working down here and don't want me to be down here, don't want me to be working downtown. The hearing follows a series of incidents. In okay. May, someone was found shot 30 feet from the entrance. In June, the city says cocaine was sold to undercover police, and another officer was able to get inside with a gun tucked in the back of her waistband. There are also allegations of fights between rival gang members. I have friends that work over here that, you know, definitely are afraid sometimes to, like, even go outside after their shift because you never know what's going to happen and where there's a stray bullet, a uh, fight that you get involved in, and you never know what could happen to you. The attorney for Beta Night Club's owner sent Denver 7 this statement saying in part that the club's security services contract with Denver police recently expired and the club's attempts to contact police to share strategies and solutions have gone unanswered. The statement also says the club has been falsely and unfairly characterized. But employees here say the allegations are true. This block has definitely has have it starting to get a new reputation, which is not good for other business owners around here because um, it does hurt our business. We've noticed a significant decline in sales on this block compared to other blocks and other bars. And, you know, it's just it's a scary time to be down in this area. Now we reached out to Denver police and they said because this case is ongoing, it would be inappropriate for them to comment at this time. We're live in Lodo tonight. I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7.